Hello everyone and welcome back to our studios. In today's episode, we are going to do a summary of the previous um, FINA process we've done. So we did three episodes. There's this one, there is that one, and there is this. All of these um, tutorials are lengthy and detailed. So in this one, we're trying to. I'm going to try to do a summary of all of the tutorials and then or all the episodes in one. So let's jump in and make it quick and snappy. So what we did right here for this is the artboard. We use the artboard. Now there's a difference between the artboard and the normal canvas. Let's see what we what we mean by that. So control N to bring out a new document or try to create a new document. You can also use file and new to do that. Forgive me if I'm rushing because I want to make it as short as possible. I doubt though, so, but let's try. Okay, so this is the size we want to use and the settings here is okay so when we create this we have that all right then there's also the option control n to use the artboard all right control n is to create a new document but that's what i meant so select this i mean make this active create then you have this all right now this right here this right here is just one canvas but this right here is one it, it's a workspace just like this the black you see here is the workspace this right here this space right here is the workspace let me zoom out so you can see so the black space you see here is the workspace and this is the canvas all right same applies here but with this right you can add multiple pages so you can compare so let's do a quick one like this right just select this then you have the options to add whether apps up left right or down so let's do this all right now let me create a quick design right here we are not going to waste time here all right and um let's get into the layer edit this all right so this color is cool i'm going to round it a little bit like this all right maybe this too much and then I'm going to probably do a little design. So I'll speed this up because you don't need it. All right, so back to this now. This gives us the opportunity to compare. So let's say this is page one and this is page two or this the front page and then there's the back page all right so we have the option to compare but not so with this if we had something of this kind all right then let's draw another shape in here change that color to let's say this all right and then call this the front page all right now let's turn this off let's create the back page all right All right, so this is the back and this is the front. So to compare these pages, all right, what I have to do is to turn this on or activate this. Take a look, turn it off, activate and take a look. Well, it's, there's a better way and that is this. With this, you can compare this to this right away and you don't have to turn one off and on and all that. You can do same here. You can actually turn this off, all right, and turn it on. But you have the work available to compare both if you had to all right so now let's move back to this maybe we'll use this a bit later so let's go back to this so right here we have this and let me zoom in so we can have a better look at the reason behind these lines you are seeing all right so this is it now this space right here the space from here to here as well is called the bleed margin all right and uh, that is usually 5 mm space allowance and then there's this one now the bleed margin is sim in simple terms is this if you're supposed to print this all right you are definitely going to have this place trimmed out or some portions of the document trimmed out so you want to leave a space here and that will leave room for trimming if there's the need then you want to also leave another space now if the trimming is done this green line we see here all right 
is going to be the edge of the paper so you can't start your work right here you have to leave another line or another space and then start your work somewhere here all right so that's the reason behind it now let's move into the work now in this particular episode which is episode three that's where we did this we had all of these options all right so we created uh let me turn all all of this off we first of all created this shape right here and there's another option to do that this shape right here can be moved around that we can see or expose the canvas control z to undo but there's another one which is this right here which is solid color so we can add a solid color let's say let's pick this color for instance let's say this is what we want for that you can never move this out of the canvas space it's always covered so in uh, in short or in simple words let's say it's an it has infinite coverage on the canvas all right but this doesn't have that which is drawing the shape once you move it reveals or let's turn this off to reveal the canvas it just has limits that's simple way of explaining this uh that is the difference all right so now let's turn this or delete this we don't need it right after that we added this now this is a simple artwork a simple image we added to add texture so let's say we reduce the opacity from 100 to 40 we change the uh, the blend mode with this is what we call the blend modes so we change it from normal to luminosity so this is how it actually looks so we first change it from normal to luminous and then change it the we reduce the opacity from 100 to 40 then we added this this is supposed to create a highlight behind the image like you see here all right so to do this this particular one if you want details you can check episode 3 because i'm trying to do a summary here all right so we added this then we added this right now this is a layer max we added to it the detail is in the episode which is three now so layer max is supposed to help us um temporarily erase some parts of the image so you see this is the full image but we added the layer max and then we kind of erase portions away then there's also this we added this now let's zoom in so we can see control z to undo let's activate the zoom to now let's zoom in so we can see the difference now pay attention to this area all right all right so we added this to kind of create a vignette at the bottom side so let's zoom out then the name so this is it we want to keep it simple so we ask we use two fonts these two are the same then we just added one to have a script for the name or the title anyway so that's with the cover now let's look take a look at the back page which is this and with the back page we kept it quite simple as simple as just the name a repetition of the name here just pick the different color or it's of white to black or brown so it stands out all right so that's it then with a funeral brochure the first page is usually the order of service the order of service is uh for the lack of a better expression more like the table of content i don't know if it's same but that's how i call it all right so it tells you the table of content right and then we decided to add this image right here so this is it uh the image is actually bigger than that so let me unclip all right then we just clipped it to the shape right here so we first of all draw the shape or create the shape take your mouse between the two layers let me turn it on take your mouse between this layer which we want to clip to this press and hold the alt key and then we just clicked then it does so now one thing you also want to bear in mind is that the bleed lines we mentioned in the first page which is the cover goes throughout the whole page and one thing we also made sure the name and all this information right here gets to be repeated on all the pages and there it is right here all right so this is a simple format we went with to have the outline here then right after that you probably look at the obituary <clears throat> sorry the biography with the biography you want to if they have a 
good image. My emphasis, my emphasis is on good image. If they don't, then we'll probably look at that maybe uh, somewhere here. I think we use the same concept, but let, let me just explain what this, all right? If they didn't have a good image for the person, I mean, in this page, you don't necessarily need a good image. So whatever image they have, you can use it here, all right? But uh, you can also do without it and just have probably a repetition of text. So let me turn this off, all right? And uh, probably expand this to cover. So you can have it like this. If you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to work with an image, so you can have it this way. Then when you you can end with this somewhere here. So this will now be centered, all right? I hope you are getting the picture. So let's undo and then bring our image back. Excuse me. All right, so that's it. You want to keep it simple. And then we also explain the reason behind this, all right? So if you want to know, there's a, an easy trick of going about this. It's not always comfortable. You create a text box and then you have to use the space bar and the tab bar to move the text away. Uh, there's an easy way which is create a path you want to work with all right so we can create a path like this let me turn this off here so the other way to go about it is to for instance select the image all right press and hold the control key and then click this thumbnail right here this will give you this selection all right then you can use this move over to select modify expand you can use uh, expanded uh, pixels of let's say 100, click on OK. You also want to move back to select invert, all right, or inverse. Then you want to select this right here, which is um, intersect with selection. So once you do that, you now want to select the marquee tool or marquee yeah, market tool, then you now select. Then it gives you this. With this done, let's just right click anywhere here, all right, in the selection. Then you can make work path, all right? Okay, so now we have this as a work path. Now with this done, you can now move over here and then type, all right? So let's select the type to type somewhere here. And then I'm just going to insert this uh, dummy text here. So you have this, all right? This gives you the option to um kind of have this right here so you are working all around the path all right so let's even select this once again and we can even reduce the work path like so and then we can also reduce it this way all right so this gives you the chance to kind of work around the image anyway that's not why we are here so let's delete this and then um activate these things right here let's delete this particular layer yes yeah, so we have deleted so that's how we go about this right here then we chose to now attribute so this is the tributes right here we have a very good image of the of the widower so we just slap it right here same com concept applies to how we did this all right so we just have this shape drawn right here we applied the texture like we did in the front page then we added the image then we added just one more which is this duplicated this added a gradient and then we have this effect right here that's about that bear in mind we are going to have a repetition of this there's a format we went with with a text down here tribute by children we want to display their children if there are a hundred of them you can do a collage of their images here if it's just one you can do a similar thing to this if it's three you can go with this and again we repeated this just to place emphasis you go for a color that stands out regardless the background that's why we even make it one color uh, for more you can check out the episode three all right so now let's move on to this so we have the photo gallery and this is the format we chose to go with so we are saying this is the diseased all right we are going to put a timeline of her whole life 
in one page or multiple pages. So a main picture, then the rest to go in a, in this kind of a format. Same thing applies here, the children, whatever. So photo gallery, if it's of children, same. If it's not, we move on. All right. So there is something we did. I don't know if I mentioned it when we we're here, which is this page right here. We said you can add the option of this to it. All right. So we are going to explain that right here. Let me insert this again, like this. Probably shift it here. All right, so we are going to apply the same concept right here, right here. Then before then, let's look at this. So this is how we go about with the hymnals, all right? This is how we go about with the hymnals. You just have to create columns for the text and then you insert them like we did right here all right right here for this i think i did explanation here so let's move back all right and you can see that we repeat this a lot now moving back here this is now supposed to be the uh, the appreciation page i guess so because we already have the back page here yes so now this is supposed to be the appreciation page. Now, this effect right here is nothing but this. That's threshold. All right. So you, if you want to see the threshold, you move over here to the effects here. Then you can add threshold. Now, when you add a threshold, the tr what the threshold does is to, in simple terms, make the darks or the the shadows black and the highlights white. Now, with that, you can now manipulate the level, all right? You can either increase it so that uh, the, it does not tolerate, let me put it in simple terms, it does not tolerate a lot of the black or you move it this way, then it doesn't tolerate the white at all, all right? So, you pick a middle ground like this and it looks more like a sketch, all right? Let's say this is okay. Then all you have to do is now change the blend mode to suit what you want. If you wanted to use the blend mode, you see this kind of picks the this kind of picks the background color, makes it brown. Where is it? Yeah, this right here is green. All right. So if, if this is what you wanted, cool. You can go with this and run with it. But you can also leave it at normal. All right, then they just reduce the opacity so that the effect is gentle on the image. All right, you then if that's not, you can just play around with these ones. So that's the brain behind this. All right, so let's turn this off and keep the original. So the original, let's take a look at the settings we have for the original. Select this to see how the level, this is what we have selected here. Let's delete this. All right, so with this, we had the level of 106, we had a, an opacity of 50, and the blend mode was normal. All right. So that's about that. With this particular episode, let's move on to, let's step back so we can have a better look at what we have here. So that's it. Hello, guys. There's great news. So this file you see, the file to this project we are working on right now, is available at a very small toolkit. And guess what? It's not just this, but there are two others. So it's actually three in one package. And it's available at a very small toolkit. Just grab it and support this channel with it. It will go a long way to keep us running, keep us active, and keep us afloat. Thank you for grabbing it and see you in another episode. But before then, finish this video, enjoy it, and it will bless you. Now with this, which was episode two, Basically, we went for a, th a white theme, right? a white theme, and this is it. We assumed that we didn't have a quality image or the people just didn't want us to use the image at the front cover. So you go about it looking at options like this on how to display the, the name, the age, and probably an AKA, so uh, year of birth or two year of death simple as that if you want to see the detail of this you can check it out in episode two all right so then we use this 
as an introduction to the magazine. So, yes, the magazine, it looks like it, but an introduction to the funeral brochure. So we just did a collage of the images. And I also mentioned, if you want to understand this, that when you do a collage in this nature, a collage of this nature, where is it? Uh, this is supposed to be page one, so let's just look for it. And that's why you name your pages, so that you can easily track them. All right, this is page one. I think it's locked, that's why it's not giving me the auto-select. So let's open to confirm. Yes, there it is, it's locked. But let's, I just unlocked it. When I click, it will now highlight it again. Let me close this. I'm trying to rush through, so forgive the mistakes all right so for instance because it's now not logged when i click the page will be will be opened let's keep it locked okay before then so i explained let me just bring it out so i can convert right from smart object back to layers all right now pay attention to to this This is like one point something gig right here. Um, let's see, okay. Just hope my machine can take it. All right, so you notice that there's a slight change. All right, on the on the file size here. A better explanation is done in the episode two, so just rushing on. So this is a smart object, right? So it becomes it was a smart object we've converted it back to layers. So if you didn't know, that's a one trick you just learned. From converted to smart object, you can actually convert back to layers, so they can have access to the individual layers. So let's just undo, all right? And then this is a smart object. So to have access, of course you know what to do. You have to move over here to the thumbnail. Then it will open here, then you can edit. Let's go back. Then we kind of did a funeral announcement of a sort right here. But this, we had the image here and then the detailed information we needed was here. Burial service, funeral rights, interment, Thanksgiving service. And if you wanted to have an option for donation, you can just put it right here. All right. If you wanted to also have the option where people can just scan the QR code because probably you can make this available to everybody then you would go with the QR code and maybe I would have to do a tutorial, a quick tutorial on how to do this. If you want to know how to do this, leave that in the comment section and I'll probably do a quick one. It should take about five minutes to do that tutorial. All right, so people can just scan this QR code right here and have access to the entire document. So now let's move on. Moving on, we went to this, which is the officiating minister. All right, but this is supposed to be... Um, you can have this as the first page, then this follows or the opposite. All right. So we'll officiating ministers, st society stewards, so on and so forth. So this is supposed to make room or accommodate people who are playing important roles. So the people, their roles, or the people and their title. So this is this person right here is presiding bishop or whatever it is, you know. Uh, yes, it should be self-explanatory. Then there's the order of service. Have the image of the person here. This mode, you know, this is what we did here. With the image here, we just changed the blend mode from normal to luminosity. And it is giving us this bronzy gold effect because of the color we have back here, which is yellow. Right? If we change this, it will have an effect. So let's just change this. You realize it's just giving us an effect. All right. So... That's what we have here. We have this image. We just change the blend mode for this picture, which is clipped to this, to luminosity. And like we just explained in the previous one, make sure that this right here, we made sure that this right here, you should also make sure it's consistent throughout the page, right? So kind of remind the people on every page who the, what the name is, the age and all of that. Then there's the biography. So we went for this style. All right, so this is the image right here. Laid it here, used this. Usually this is done if you have an extra quote or you have a quote or an extraction from, let's say a Bible or something of the sort. So this is a quote, all right? 
so this is the biography of then there's a quote before the actual biography so then this starts it unlike um this right here let's move here zoom we didn't start with this format all right we just went straight and typed out everything so that's the difference the detail is in the episode which is episode two for this all right now let's zoom out and see what we can explain here so biography by children we do the same thing then we also realize that we also added something more so if you want to have usually in ghana would have something like can't say demifé uh in english we can say rest in peace so these are words that usually ends the entire script right if there's a tribute and it's a long one short one whatever there's usually this phrase that ends the whole tribute and that with that one we we have the option to use a, a script font like this to have it done or back to this page we can have this option all right so it's either a star like this or a star like that all right, so let's move on. We are on this page. Then we did this for the photo for the photo gallery. Now the reason behind this is to say we are introducing the people to the photo gallery, so we have a good image of the person here, right here. Then when you turn, we have the photo gallery. I have children, maybe a photo a photo gallery of the person himself, the deceased person, displaying a timeline of the person's life, like we we did in this episode which is right here so probably this looks like when they first got when she first got married the early part of her life and so on and so forth when their children came in and all of that you can have that let's move back here all right so this is a, this is a format you can go with now this is just a simple shape we added here which can be edited so you can choose any color at all all right once you edit the color you'd also want to make sure the contrast is respected right so you can go for color like this and this stands out right so something of this sort it means that you have to change this as well so let's just undo and stick to what we had previously which is this then there's the hymnals now this is what we had for this particular one here so hymns and all of that then again we have the appreciation right so with the hymns these are just text columns let me just activate this right create them one after the other put in the hymn so if the first one is it is well maybe the first hymn is that there's another hymn that continues and has a different title you know we can do go along with that pay attention to this and don't repeat this make sure contrast is respected all right but details is in the episode two you can check it out then we had this. We ended with a very beautiful picture of the deceased here. Subtle in the background. Then the appreciation from the family is right here. And then this is the back cover. Alright. So let's drop this right here. Zoom out so we can compare the back cover and the front cover. Alright. So let's take this right up here. I'm moving it up. like so and let's zoom in so you can have a proper look i think this is properly aligned let's zoom out all right so front cover and back cover what do you think i think it looks good All right, so this is with a summary of the episode two. Let's jump to episode three. I mean, the episode one. And that is, this is what we had here. This time around, we went for a dark theme. Basically, the same steps throughout. A little tweak in the format we, we go for. For instance, let's see which format we used for this. 
All right, so in the order of service in this case, this is the format we went with. Let's see the format we chose for this one. Is it the same? All right, so in the order of service for this, this is the format we went with. So this one has just a really random picture. It looks like a church, so it's a church. Order of services, services done in the church. Fine, we go with this. Then we have this. We use the image of the person in there. Then the order of services here. Then there's this. Nothing at all, just order of service and a space to accommodate the person's name. I mean, so you have the liberty to go whichever way you want. Now let's look at this and do some comparisons. So this one, we had the image lined out this way. This is the layout we went for. But let's check out this, which is the biography. And this is the format we went for in this case. Check out this one as well. This is the format. So you are at liberty to play around the whole thing and go for what suits you best. All right, so we went for this. Pay attention, there, there's a repetition. Now, in this case, we added the page numbers. I usually don't like to add page numbers, but if you have to add, you can do it with this or this way. It means you can actually, let's select this. All right, let's see. All right, so now let's turn the name off. So you can actually go without the name just leave the page numbers i like to have people reminded of who is being buried and simple information about them which is year of birth and death all right so now let's zoom out and look at what next then tribute by wife tribute by children you know this the star we went for when it came to the photo gallery all right and this is more like the introductory page to the photo gallery i like this concept i i like this introductory page thing a lot all right so photo gallery themes then the back page in this case we put the appreciation on the back page all right so you can also do with this format once again we can actually select this all right drag it up Um, I think my machine is slow. Let me slow down for the machine. I'm going to cut all the sides off. Let's see. Yes. So, now we are back. So, let's drag this up, all right, and see or compare the page, which is the front page and the back page. Let's zoom in and see. All right, so this now becomes the back page and the front page. All right, so you can compare this way. Now, what this means is that, for instance, let's assume we wanted this design to kind of mirror itself we can actually invert the position of this. Let's see. Let me put all of this, merge all these layers, all right, like this. Then I'm going to flip it to edit, transform, and flip this way, turn it this way. So now you can have a close look. Now let's select this right here, right? Just this page. Let's try and join the pages like this so this is the front page this is the cover page if you had the book opened up this is how it's going to look all right this is how it's going to look so it gives you the artboard gives you the opportunity to compare pages right here now i can tell that the sizes are not the same so i can probably do the same for this which is merge this Control t to bring a transform and i can increase the size so it matches like this all right so the back when the book is turned back or spread open at from the front and back you see it this way so that's what the adbot helps you do i can actually you can it helps you to compare the pages and see if you probably had a pattern you wanted to run from here to here i'm probably going to do another series on doing magazines because um, a magazine approach is slightly different from this approach even though some principles repeat but 
I'll probably do some series on how to design magazines, all right, or uh, business brochures and all of that. So if you had something, a pattern like this that you wanted to run through, you can just compare and make sure that it's properly aligned. Hello guys, there's great news. So this file you are seeing, the file to this project we are working on right now, is available at a very small token. And guess what? It's not just this, but there are two others. So it's actually three in one package. And it's available at a very small token. Just grab it and support this channel with it. It will go a long way to keep us running, keep us active, and keep us afloat. Thank you for grabbing it and see you in another episode. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond.